Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're having an issue when opening up properties for various files and folders and it's missing the location tab. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process of how we're going to go about resolving that and restoring the tab. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is start by opening up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, Best match, come back to Registry Editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the User Account Control Prompt, select Yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, all you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I'd recommend naming the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double clicking on the H key classes root folder. So double click on that. And then you want to go down to the directory folder. You can just click on a random folder in here and start typing directory. And that'll get you there a little bit quicker. And now double click on that, and there should be a shell ex folder. Go ahead and double click on that one as well. Should be a property sheet handlers folder. Just left click on that one time. And now right click on that folder, select new, and then select key. I'm going to have a name of the key in the description of the video. I want you guys to copy it and then paste it in here. It's going to start with the quotation sign for. A7 and it's going to end with 1103 and then that end quotation sign at the end. Hit enter on your keyboard and then once you have done that you want to go ahead and just close out of the registry editor and you will need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect so go ahead and actually restart your device. And now, hopefully, your issue has been resolved at this point. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.